Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back. In today's video, I have a small collective haul for you. Uh, it's going to be some items that I bought over the past couple of weekends. Uh, first, I'll start off with the weekend before last. My sister and I went to a pumpkin patch, and we've been to this pumpkin patch before, and it's still really neat. Uh, they've added in a corn maze, and their pumpkin patches are a little bit different. Um, they have a gift shop, which, I mean, they had that before. And it's got Christmas decor, fall and Halloween decor, has a little fudge shop. We, uh... We both uh, we shared a piece of pumpkin pie fudge, which, which was really good. And the two things we got there are pumpkin carving kits. We got this pumpkin masters one. And my sister wanted this one because it had the wicked pattern, and it is really neat looking. And she she meant to get it last time and didn't, and and couldn't find it anywhere. But uh, luckily they had it again this year, so she's going to be carving that on her pumpkin which I think is going to look really good. And, of course, the back just shows how to do everything. And then the other one is this Peanuts, which we've never seen this before, and it's super cute. And it's got uh, four tools, six patterns, and a bonus pattern. And just look at Snoopy there on the little uh, scooper. But, uh, anyway, couldn't pass that up. And then there's the patterns. I might end up doing a Snoopy on mine. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Or I may use out of that other book. So we also went to Target this day, and uh, I was glad to find the m and White Pumpkin Pie uh, flavored, because I couldn't find these in a couple of Walmarts I checked, and these are new this year, so Target usually has these type things, so of course I love my pumpkin stuff, so I had to get those. I also got the Halloween Bingo for $5, thought this was super neat. I don't know if you can see some of the pattern there on the cards, I'll try to kind of scoot that over where you can see. So anyway, couldn't pass that up. And then I got the L'Oreal Voluminous in the Carbon Black Mascara, two times the intensity. This is one of my favorite. This and Miss Manger are my two favorite drugstore brand mascaras. Of course, I have a few favorite uh, high-end, but as far as drugstore. And I almost got something different, but I stuck with this one. But if you guys use a Voluminous Mascara, uh, comment down below and let me know what you use, because I'd like to try something new. But uh, anyway, I got my, my old faithful here, but I'd love to hear new ideas. And then I got the Up and Up, which is the Target brand, Moisturizing Shave Gel and the Strawberry Tangerine. Haven't tried this uh, scent before, but, but this is a good shave gel. And, of course, we love, well, my sister has used it, too. We love the rust-proof uh, rust proof bottom. So, anyway, try that out. And then this past weekend, uh, we went to a football game where I, uh, actually, where I went to college at. And, uh, of course, we just want to see what it was like over the over there now, the experience and everything. And I was in the bands. We wanted to see the band. And we went in the bookstore before the game. And they had a uh, whole display of elf makeup, which was, I thought, so neat. And uh, they had the lip kiss bombs that you guys would find at Dollar Tree. And they had it in the Berry Sweet, which that's the one I wanted. They had a couple of others, but I just stuck with the one. But it was $2 here, of course, instead of the dollar. But that's okay. I, I wanted to pay that extra dollar and try it out because I knew I wasn't going to Dollar Tree. And even if I was, they may not have it. And Cheap Crafty Girl had swatched this, and the color did look very pretty. So I was glad to find that. Um, let's see. We also went to Walgreens this day. They had, of course, I love pumpkin. Like I said, they had the limited batch Nutri-Grain Soft Baked in the pumpkin spice. Tried these this morning. They are really good. And then my sister got the from Lemonhead the original Johnny Apple Treats Apple Candy. Thought that was really neat and different. They had a great flavor too, but she just got the apple. So that's Walgreens. Last few things are from Walmart. Uh, love to get the Halloween soap. They actually, I actually found it. I've tried it at a few different Walmarts and finally found it at this one. It's the Soft Soap Halloween Collection. My sister and I each got one of three different kinds. They had a fourth one. It was a berry flavor, I believe, with a cat on the front I'm not sure but we just got the three so we got the wicked citrus this next one I know we like we've got it before the full moon oranges and then the ghoulish vanilla and then the last thing I want to show you is that we get this every year too if we can find it is the Captain Crunch Halloween Crunch we love this it says of course ghost turn milk green so that's always fun you know to experience but anyway we uh got get a box of this every year we love captain crunch anyway and it's always fun to you know have the halloween so anyway uh i hope you enjoyed my haul and comment down below with any questions or anything you want to say and if you haven't subscribed please do and please give this video a thumbs up i'll talk to you all later bye